Brooklyn Independent Television. That's what I was saying, like, you know, like, wow, these are like really short. Should I hold the fade in? Should I hold the fade? Yeah, they're just, yeah. they're just, some of them, and some of them are like really short. Like some of them are like only t like two seconds long or mm -hmm. something. It's just so stupid. No, no, it's, it's fine. It's just the way that you have to, you know, the sequence of how this order has to go, unfortunately. So. Okay, so I'm sorry. Okay, I'm sorry I couldn't cue you. So what will happen is, what's, let's let make a certain amount of bars. So you're out after four bars of the uh, figure. So, you know, so I started thinking about this idea about sort of like a kind of a slow fade to black, a sort of the way in which things disappear, the way in which things dissipate. So, so something, something is fading, but something is also blossoming. Something is growing at the same time. Into, not out of, but into a new space of, of production, of cultural awareness, of political awareness, of cultural possibility. And so, you know, I'm doing this project with Jerry Allen and Esperanza Spaulding and Liz Wright, you know, these like fabulous sisters who are currently on the scene. As a musician, I, I can't speak for Carrie, but I feel from her work and the way I experience her work, she's kind of taking um, these core ideas and kind of flipping them in different kinds of ways and revisiting them. And, you know, I mean, that's what we do too as musicians. But I know that <clears throat> I trust her, I trust the artists, and, and I have a sense of what, what I'm, what, why nobody should trust me. <laughs> but, <laughs> but I'm going to be there tomorrow with my stuff, and I think that we're going to have a very exciting, exciting evening. I think that it's going to be really special. I'm really looking forward to Liz Wright singing. I think she's a, sort of an extraordinary voice. We were sitting here working and uh, suddenly we heard this, this sound coming through the wall. Bobby snakes there in that grass, grandma's a hand. There's somebody in that room who really knows what they're doing. Well, we, we're starting the program with a black spiritual called Old Freedom. So that particular piece, uh, Howard University, Afro Blue, uh, Kenetra Miller. And before I'd be a slave, I'll be buried in my grave. Jerry has a great, great, great humility, and uh, you know, but you know, like, but 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 all artists are like deeply, uh, deeply ambitious. You know, sometimes to our own detriment. But, but uh, you know, she's she's very humble and very ambitious simultaneously, and that you can't do a project like this, and you can't bring together this many people without being sort of extraordinarily ambitious. But the ambition doesn't necessarily have to be for yourself. You're dealing with these different parts of language, um, pieces of ideas, 
And then there's this kind of X factor that happens. So when you bring all these people together, you don't know what's going to happen. But there is like a preparation time that each of us has to have to be able to sit here and, and do what we do. And that's what we're all depending on is everybody else's preparation. So that when it comes time, then that downbeat hits, we're just in that moment. I think that what drives Jerry and what drives me is the ambition to enunciate and to underscore the power of our possibility. And so I'm not really doing this because I like Carrie Mae Weems. Carrie Mae Weems is nothing. What's important is the great humanity that has to be addressed and uh, brought to the work, I think. I think that that's important. And so I'm, I'm committed to that in my life, into improving the status of, of our lives as, as people in America. That drives me. I think it drives her too. I think that's what brings us together. I used to live in Brooklyn. Um, I lived here in Bed-Stuy for about 10 years, just around the corner from the Billie Holiday Theater, up the street from UB Blake's old home. And um, I frequented that park every day. I mean, that, that's where I went to, you know, it was such a beautiful place. It still is, and so to have a chance to go back there uh, in this context with this, uh, this wonderful group of people, it's, it's, it's like a, something, you know, it's very difficult to express, but I'm very excited and uh, appreciative of this moment. Oh man, look at my life. I'm a lot like you were. Oh man, look at my life. I'm a lot like you were. Watch this and other Brooklyn Independent Television episodes online at brickartsmedia.org. Slash BIT.